JBN, we keep you informed. We can't forget our amazing smell. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A father in mourning had written the eulogy for his deceased daughter and he would read it too. He was supported by a woman listed on the program as Althea Hines Campbell. At the Otorias Baptist Church in St. Anne, I'll barely told the solemn gathering, I don't know why I took on this task, but I was compelled. It was midway through the Thanksgiving service for his 29-year-old daughter, Zandria, who died in the United States last month after a seven-year battle with the autoimmune disease lupus. Family, friends, and well-wishers of the 2014 Miss Universe Jamaica finalist would hear of Zandria's stories of faith, fate, and friendship and her fight with the disease that also claimed the life of her mother, settling two years before her own diagnosis. Bailey said he shared an inseparable bond with Zandria, and it began from shows in the wound. He recounted how, as a 21-year-old man, he moved back to his mother's house to escape the responsibility after learning that he would become a father. Months later, he received a letter that there was no longer any movement in the tummy of his pregnant girlfriend, and that was when he rushed back to her house to get her to a medical facility. Bailey said, as the mother of his child laid on a hospital bed in Kingston, he started to rub her tummy and little Zandria began to move again. He believes it was Zandria's fate to survive to make an impact on the world. If that were not enough, Bailey recalled heading to Montego Bay with Sidling while she was three months pregnant with Zandria when the car picked up a skid and flipped two and a half times. However, Bailey said they escaped with only minor bruises. Zandria would later become his church baby, attending services and taking part in religious activities as a matter of course. As the stories continued, Bailey by now realized he was not using his prepared eulogy. Mino no Mideno, he muttered to Heinz Campbell, still at his side for support. While she tried to match his stories to the prepared script, Bailey moved on to the theme of friendship, recalling how Zandria touched lives and defended relationships. She impacted every person she came in contact with, Bailey said. But it was at the University of the West Indies and through the Miss Universe Jamaica competition that Bailey said his daughter was most impactful. Two years after she was diagnosed with lupus, Zandria became a finalist in the 2014 pageant. Casey Fennell Shirley, the 2014 Miss Universe Jamaica, was still in awe at the devotion and sincerity with which Zandria treated their friendship. But for Mark McDermott, the national director for the Miss Universe Jamaica, it was her strength as a lupus patient that was most impressive. She brought to the pageant that sense of dignity, and we can't forget her amazing smile. She brought an awareness to the illness to the entire universe, he said. Arlene Clare of Finster Sharp Insurance Brokers knew that smile only too well. She said for the period Zandria worked with her, she lit up the office the minute she stepped in, and the work seemed easier whenever she was around. At the stroke of 1 p.m. as the clock began to chime, like a soldier on parade, Father Bailey advanced towards the rostrum for his penultimate duty to carry the urn bearing the ash of his daughter. As mourners congregated in the churchyard before dispersing for the final rites, there was still disbelief at Zandria's passing. Zandria can't hold in a one bottle, one woman exclaimed, gazing at the urn. Oh my God, me tall, tall Zanzi, she continued, shaking her head. Moments later at the St. Anne's Bay Cemetery, Bailey would place the urn inside a specially created section of the tomb where the body of Zandria's mother was laid in 2011 after she too lost her fight with lupus. What good Zanzan? JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.